pick a card reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you to, for those of you who have recently subscribed. For those of you who have already been subscribed, I really appreciate all of you. Um, so yeah, let's do this. So today's reading is uh, how they feel. You know, how they feel maybe, you know, about themselves in regards to the relationship. We'll see what messages we can get out, okay? So we have three groups for you to choose from. We have group one, group two, and group three. If you want to pause the video to choose your pile, uh, feel free to do so. But I shall see you guys in your reading. Hey there, gummy bears. <laughs> I don't know why I said gummy bears, but... <laughs> For those of you who chose this uh, beach rock, uh, then this reading is for you guys. I'll leave it here. Okay, maybe not. I'll leave it here today. Yeah, but for those of you who chose the first group, this is for you guys. So the person on your mind, how are they feeling? Let's start off with your tarot cards. The first card we have is the Fool. We have Strength Reverse. And we also have the High Priestess. Oh, interesting. I don't know. We've got three major arcanas down here, guys. So your person could um, actually be, you know, experiencing some, I wouldn't say tough feelings, but definitely some heavy emotion uh, or heavy feelings or, or thinking about this connection a lot. Um, but yeah, there's definitely heavy energy coming from this person or at least their feelings are quite strong like whatever feeling they are feeling at this moment it, it seems to be um it could be quite intense for this person so this person feels like there needs to be a new start like this person may feel like they need a new start on their own um i'm hearing they they may feel like there needs to be more spontaneous moments um like I'm, he I'm hearing like this person feels like they need to start again or start on a clean slate. But at the same time, this person is feeling a little bit insecure, I feel, or kind of just feeling like they don't have the strength to, I don't want to say strength to move forward, but this person is definitely could be feeling some, you know, confidence issues or you know maybe even a lack of motivation or just um i'm hearing even maybe a lack of direction like this person is definitely in their head a lot this person may feel like they not that they can't open up and express themselves to you but they may feel like they need to kind of keep how they're feeling keep their thoughts uh to themselves at the moment so yeah this person could be keeping a lot of how they feel a secret i mean i could say bottled up this person could be feeling like a lack of passion or just feeling like um that the passion has gone maybe on their end maybe on your end but this person does you know think that there is a need for like a reset you know like a complete reset on this connection but yeah, this person may be keeping um, a secret or they may feel like they have to keep how they feel a secret, you know. This person is also, I'm kind of hearing like gun shy. It's like this person seems, I don't know why, but it's like desperate for a new start. But at the same time, it's like they're lacking the courage or maybe even the willpower to approach you with how they're feeling. So that's maybe why... They feel like they kind of have to keep their emotions bottled up. They may feel like it's like on the surface, this person could, you know, appear very logical, very cool, very calm. But at the same time, they're feeling a lot below the surface, you know. For some of you, this person could be feeling a little defeated right now. They could... Yeah, I'm not, I was literally just going to repeat myself, but I'm, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, I'm not laughing at the situation at all. I'm just laughing at my own stupidity. Um, but um, yeah, this person could be feeling very defeated right now. It's like they're, they're feeling these really heavy emotions, but yeah, they definitely um, think that they need to kind of keep this to themselves. And 
I'm hearing that they could be investing in, you know, a new start. Maybe this person feels like um, this connection needs to be a more go with the flow kind of energy. Um, but if that's not the case, then it could be that this person feels like they need a new start out of this connection. But I feel like for the most part, though, um, it's like they want a fresh start within this connection, like wipe the slate clean. Um, sort of energy <laughs> so let's move on let's see what else we have okay so we have detox so this person may feel like they need a detox um from this connection like with the high priestess um even i don't i don't know if people like interpret it as um like a kind of solo kind of card but for me i kind of get like a solo energy from this so maybe this person feels like they need to go inwards you know, with the high priestess, maybe they feel like they need to um, kind of need to dive into their subconscious a little bit to kind of figure out uh, this relationship, like, yeah, figure out this relationship, figure out the connection, maybe kind of re, like, find their own confidence as well, you know, so this person may feel like they need to detox, but it's like, I'm hearing they need to detox in order for this fresh start to, like, occur. Or for them to, um, you know, manifest the fresh start. Uh, for others of you, this person could be concerned about their health, you know. But I feel like they want to detox so that they could get this fresh start, though. Uh, we have this card, and... It's basically, you know, figuring shit out on your own. So it's like this person. So for some of you, this person could be lacking confidence. They could be looking outside of themselves to kind of reaffirm their confidence or kind of, you know, how some people can. Well, I think we've all done that maybe at some point. But <laughs> but yeah, this person could be looking outside of themselves to find the answers, to find their confidence to to make this person feel alive again but i feel like this person is coming to the realization that only they can solve their problems like only they can figure their own shit out you know um so yeah so yeah maybe this person feels like they need to um figure shit out on their own you know oh that could be another reason why they're going inwards like that's why that could be why that high priestess card is there as well like this person could be going inwards um you know to, to kind of get clarity but to get clarity through their own intuition rather than uh seeking support from outside sources you know and finally we have fuck shit is about to get real um, so this person may feel like they need their people around them. So they could be feeling quite conflicted because on one hand, they're like, I need to figure something out on my own. It could be in regards to this connection, but it could also be in regards to, um, an external thing that could impact this connection. Like for example, work for, you know, finances, children, hobbies, I don't know. Okay. But um, it's like this person really wants to figure this out on their own but at the same time they may feel like they really need support so they could be in this very conflicted um, kind of energy or they could even feel like shit is about to go down in this connection they could feel like they could feel like shit is about to get real hmm Maybe before, do you know how there's like warm ups and then there's like the real game, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry for the sports reference. I don't even watch that much sports, honestly. But <laughs> but yeah, do you know how there's the warm up and then you have like the actual game? Like, so this person could feel like before was the warm up, but now is like the real deal. So they could be like trying to get clarity uh, on how to move forward. And I'm even hearing on how to find the passion. Like, so if the passion spark, um the lust or attractiveness or chemistry has like kind of dissipated in this connection or at least is not as fire as it used to be then this person could definitely uh want to work on that as well you know uh we have codependency so this person could feel very codependent on your energy 
uh, this person could be having codependency issues outside of this connection. Um, like maybe that's why this person is like, I need to figure this shit out on my own. Like, yeah, they may they may feel like they need support. Um, so it's like it's like again like a conflict, you know. Um, so it's like on one end they are very codependent, or they feel like they're codependent, but at, on the other side of it, like <laughs> a small part actually is like you know you need to actually figure this out on your own. Um, for others of you, this person could feel like you know addictions are having an impact on this connection. I mean, if that resonates with you. So we have here trust. I feel like this person is trying to trust the process uh, of this connection. I feel like this person could be leaning on their faith. Um, this person is trying to, you know, uh, follow the signs and follow, you know, synchronicities. And it's like they're trying to rely on their logic, but also their intuition. Like, I don't know if this person, you know, would, you know, call it their intuition. I don't know if they're like that way, you know, spiritually inclined or whatever the case is well yeah they are um definitely trying to lean on their faith a bit more like lean on their own um that i feel like this person is trying to have trust in themselves a bit more um but this person does trust you as well so i feel like this person feels like they need to do something that's out of the box but also this person feels like you're very unusual like you could be very unique uh to this person like it's like a once in a lifetime sort of thing you know so we have here flying uh, it says below it though it says arise and see a higher point of view so this person is really trying to dive deep into their own consciousness subconsciousness and um trying to look at this connection from a different perspective you know so that could be why that fresh slate is here that full card this person could be really feeling like this connection needs a fresh slate but they could also be thinking that damn like i need to i'm hearing level up mentally like maybe this person is trying to become more spiritual but they're like i definitely need to approach approach this from a different angle you know something that i haven't tried before okay so finally let's get into these messages <laughs> i'm not joking okay so the first card we have is you deserve better so this person could feel like you deserve better um or at least better than what you have tolerated or maybe what you have accepted in the past you know this person feels like they had an instant connection with you guys as well yeah so we have here stepping out of the comfort zone like i strongly felt that with that alien car like they definitely feel like they need to approach this situation from a different angle this person feels like they need to really step out of their comfort zone in regards to this connection it could be in regards to their life in general but it's it's overall gonna have an impact on this connection so yeah this person really does want to try something different you know um so this person obviously feels like you're very sexy especially your lips if you especially if you have full lips as well they um, feel like they're very sexy um lickable kissable and if you want to read that you can <laughs> uh but so yeah they find your mouth area very uh inviting shall i say <laughs> so this person's been dreaming about you but i feel like I feel like they may see it as like daydreaming about you but really it's <laughs> their body or their you know intuition or their soul trying to pull them into their subconscious so they may see it as daydreaming like like i said like not everyone is you know aligned with certain terms as like what did i say before like intuition like they may like see it as something else you know so uh yeah this person could be daydreaming about you guys like they could be fantasizing about you guys quite a bit um this person wants to get deeper into this connection um, for some of you they could want to be intimate with you um this person could feel like they're playing themselves at this point though um they could feel like is this even going to be worth it does this person maybe they're thinking does do you want a fresh start with them you know um but yeah, they could feel like they are 
playing themselves and looky here we literally have secrets and the high priestess card for me i feel like for other tarot readers of course but i can't speak for anyone else other than myself you know but for me the high priestess um you know speaks of secrets you know so this person could be feeling like you are hiding a secret from them or this person could be keeping how they feel a secret from you or maybe this person just has a secret you know um but there's definitely a lot of subconscious uh, a lot of thinking a lot of daydreaming a lot of internalization when it comes to this uh, connection for this person um but yeah that is all i have for you group one i hope this reading resonated in some way for you um that could you know kind of give you some sort of clarity i just saw a raven how nice like right outside my window <laughs> hi I don't know if that's a sign too like so what do ravens represent they represent um like it kind of gives me high priestess energy as well but i don't know you guys can look it up i'm not very good at remembering stuff like this even though i <laughs> guys okay i'm going now okay <laughs> take care bye <laughs> hola <laughs> How are you? For those of you who chose group two, for those of you who chose this here, Beach Rock, <laughs> and this is for you guys. Uh, so, um, how are they feeling right now? So we're going to start off with your tarot cards, if that's okay with you. <laughs> oh god, I don't know guys, honestly. Okay, so the first card we have is the Three of Swords. Uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles, interesting, and we have the Star. Oh, so I feel like, oh my God, I don't start. I'm about to get all teary. Oh, I'm so teary. Okay, guys. So your person, the person on your mind, could be feeling a little bit heartbroken right now. They could. I'm hearing they could be feeling betrayed um for some of you uh this person could feel like you know there's is another person in your life um but yeah this person is feeling very uh hopeless at the moment i mean it could be in regards to something else obviously um if you are you know if you talk to this person regularly or i don't know but some of you uh it's either it's either this person is feeling like just heartbroken disappointed just down like like severe emotional pain like you know i can't i can't really even put that i don't think there's a word for it but yeah so this person could be feeling like very severe emotional pain right now but it's not only emotional pain they, they could be feeling like mental anguish as well um but yeah this person could be feeling really down this person could be trying to distract themselves with work. So this person could be feeling down about you, obviously, if that makes sense for your situation. Or this person could be feeling down about something outside of this connection. But that's also having an impact on this connection, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, this person could be feeling very hopeless. Um, like This person could be feeling very, I'm hearing very like weak. I'm not talking about like, when people are like, oh, this person's so weak. I'm not saying it like that. I, I, no. <laughs> I'm kind of saying it as this person. Okay, I feel like weak is the wrong word. I feel like it's more so depleted. Like, they feel like their energy uh, is depleted at this time. But maybe at the same time, they do have a lot on their plate. Or they're working towards something. Maybe this person is trying to... It's like the pain that they're feeling. They're going to use it to maybe work on their craft you know, to maybe elevate themselves in some way. Um, I'm saying in some way, but it could be in regards to a hobby, uh, you know, something that they want to finesse, something that they want to get better in. It's like this person really want to work, wants to work on their craft. Um, so if it's not that they're trying to distract themselves with their work, then it's definitely that they want to work on this connection. Like despite feeling heartbroken, the fight, despite feeling um, depleted, despite feeling, um, you know, uh, you know, really down about this connection, they could still have that desire to work on things with you guys. 
but yeah they are feeling a little bit hopeless it's like they feel like they got their wish maybe with you and then it was kind of just taken away from them you know or it's like something that they hoped for didn't really work out So yeah, this person definitely could be feeling a little overwhelmed um, at this time. <clears throat> okay, so we have U equals a title. So this person could be feeling like either you are too controlled um, or this person kind of feels like... Hmm? So yeah, maybe they feel like either you're trying to control this situation or this relationship or this person feels like they need to kind of release control. Like maybe this person is really trying to control the outcome, which is only leaving them disappointed. Um, so maybe they feel like they need to kind of loosen up a bit. Uh, they could feel like you need to loosen up a bit, you know, if that resonates with your situation. Like, if your person is a little bit of a control freak, then it's definitely that they feel like they may, may need to loosen up. <clears throat> or I'm kind of hearing um, they kind of wish that you weren't so fixed or so stubborn. Like, so if you're someone who is like, once you've, you know, made up your mind and you've made up your mind, then they could like wish that you weren't so rigid you know maybe they wish you could loosen up but i'm obviously not telling you to loosen up so you know because obviously you need to do what's best for yourself um but yeah so wait let me just confirm something or get clarity all right so yeah this person definitely feels like you're um loved by someone else like they could feel like there's a third party uh, this person could feel like you're moving on from them as well um this person may feel like they you know fucked things up in this connection but if that's not the case then they could feel like you're fucking things up you know like <laughs> i'm hearing that there could be some like I don't want to say delusions but there could be some illusions in this person's perspective about this connection like it, this is this is kind of feeling one-sided you know what i mean i don't know it's either that they feel like you know the connection is just you know them kind of invested in this um but at the same time it's like maybe not showing appreciation for what you have put into this connection or for what you have invested in this connection. I don't know, like this person feels like they met you for a reason though, you know? So this person could be like trying not to give in to fear. So that could be why, you know, these tarot cards came out the way they did um because they're obviously showing feelings of hurt but at the same time having that eight of pentacles right in between it makes me feel like this person is like yeah this is how i'm feeling but i'm not ready to give up you know so yeah this for this group i feel like you know whoever you're asking about i don't feel like even if things are you know in a difficult place between you guys i don't believe this person um wants to give up yeah, this person may feel like there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation um, between you guys. Like, this person really wants to um, honestly, you know, you know, dive into how they feel about you. Maybe find out how you're actually feeling about them. So yeah, this person could be um, searching for clarity. And it's like they're kind of telling themselves, um, you know, don't hold yourself back. It's like, yeah, yeah, don't hold yourself back.
without trying to repeat myself <laughs> so yeah this person could want a heart to heart with you guys uh this could be manifesting very soon so this person could be reaching out for that heart to heart quite quickly um it's like tell me what you want be brutally honest maybe not brutally honest <laughs> this person could be feeling a bit fragile so maybe leave out the brutal part you know um but you know honesty doesn't have to be brutal you know so yeah so this person could be trying to come to their own conclusions as well but i feel like this person wants to reach out to you very soon though group uh too so we have here child so we have child i wasn't i wasn't really sure how to interpret that but now i feel like i do know how to so because we have it right above uh, the whole you tie ass you know the controlling thing maybe this person feels like they need they need to take a more you know childlike or light-hearted approach towards this connection maybe this person even wants to invite more fun into this connection yeah maybe yeah maybe this person feels like there needs to be more fun so this person feels very comfortable around you like you're home to this person so yeah you feel like home to this person and i feel like that could be a reason why they're not giving up like this person is looking at this connection as having a lot of potential um, and that's why I feel like even if they are feeling the free of source kind of energy, um, I mean, wait, hold on. Mm, yeah, I'm getting mixed messages. So, I mean, if any of you feel, okay, so I'm getting a message that this person could feel like they've been betrayed by you, okay? But that could be in their head like that could be unconfirmed you know so this person could be wanting clarity on that as well but i'm hearing that if there is like a separation going on between you and this person it's like this person wants to come back to you to the place they feel comfortable because they see you as their home okay so now let's look at these messages uh that we have from your person so this person is feeling like you could be ashamed of them um so we have my vagina just frogs thinking about you. Um, maybe this person has a lot of sexual desires towards you. Um, yeah, maybe they feel a lot of sexual desire towards you as well. This person may feel like they deserve better as well. They may feel yeah, they may feel like they deserve better than this connection. I mean, especially if they're feeling this heartbreak and if you're aware that this person could be feeling like this and if you're aware <laughs> that of, that it could be down to you like it doesn't have to be in a bad way it could be you as simple as saying like look i don't even feel the same the same way as you feel for me like that's not you know that's no reason for you to feel bad you know because you're doing what's best for yourself at the end of the day but yeah this person could feel like they deserve better than what's being offered at this moment this person feels like you're super hot <laughs> they feel like you're super hot and sexy okay <laughs> i don't know what that's about guys so yeah this person could be afraid of rejection um they're hoping you don't reject them for like when they come towards you very soon <laughs> they could be hoping that you don't say no and that you say yes so this person feels like you've got them all wrong so they may feel like you have the wrong impression of them um this person could be feeling a bit bored in their life. They could feel like this connection is a bit monotonous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm speaking like this. So yeah, they could feel like this connection is a bit monotonous. So that could be why they want to bring that playful energy uh, into this. And finally, we have hell motherfucking yes. Okay, <laughs> so whatever you were just thinking, if you were thinking something, then that is definitely your compliment confirmation but i feel like this is more of like a rebellious kind of energy it's like there may be challenges there may be lot be <laughs> I was, oh my god there may be challenges and there may be blocks but like i'm up for the challenge so um you know kind of like let's go kind of energy but uh yeah that is all i have for you group
too i hope this reading made sense for you and your situation and i'm wishing you guys all the best okay so take care of yourself bye hey there group three i hope you guys are all doing well oh, sorry let me get this one back. so those of you who chose this rose quartz is that what it's called i can't remember what it's called Rose Quartz, of course it's called Rose Quartz, right? But anyways, for those of you who chose this group, uh, this reading is for you. So the person on your mind, how are they feeling? The first card we have is Ace of Wands. Okay, this is already looking a bit more positive than the last two groups. Um, we have our oh, Eight of Cups reversed. I think that's a good thing, right? <laughs> um, so Four of Wands also upright. So... What I'm hearing, like, unlike the last two groups, this group is about hope, I think. I think, actually, it may not even about, be about hope. Uh, if any of you have recently undergone a separation, maybe took a break, uh, maybe one person wasn't, you know, making enough effort, one person wasn't really living up to the end of the bargain, I don't know, guys. But if someone had walked away in this connection, um, then this person could either be feeling happy that you guys you know found your way back to each other if this reconciliation has happened already if not this person definitely wants to reconcile this person definitely wants um like a new passionate exciting beginning with you guys so how this person feels but if this is ugh, like a newish kind of person um <laughs> um i don't feel like it is a newish kind of person okay do you know what you guys know your situation i'm not even going to try to figure that out but you know whatever the case may be this person definitely feels like there's a lot of passion between you guys they feel like there's a heavy spark uh this i'm hearing i'm even hearing that this person could feel like you're very fiery um but i feel like <laughs> This person feels like together you guys could be very uh wild but yet comfortable so very like a very contained but passionate kind of connection, you know? Um, so how does this person feel? This person feels very secure right now. This person feels very stable. Um, I mean, if this is a new connection, uh, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be a new connection. It could either be like a reset, a new start, new connection, whatever, you know? Um, but if there is something new, then this person definitely could feel like you guys are headed into, you know, very stable grounds, like very happy family, very much wedding kind of vibes. Like this person could even feel like you're someone that they could get married to. Um, this person could feel like you're someone who's very stable. I'm kind of hearing, um, like this person may feel like you guys would make a great team as well. Okay, so yeah, this reading is a bit mumble jumbled, but I'm also hearing that for some of you, this person feels like they can win you back. They're like, they think it's over, but it, it really ain't over, you know? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, for some of you, this person wants to inject, you know, that passion, that fun, that spontaneity <laughs> back into um into your connection but others of you um this person's like i have a really good idea like so for some of you this person does want to like approach you with a new idea um or it's like this person feels like they have the perfect plan the perfect idea the perfect way to win you back or to win you over okay um for others of you, uh, if this person did walk away from you, they could feel like they're in a better space now to give you what you need. Um, they could be feeling like more stable and secure within themselves. Um, maybe they've reached a goal, a milestone that was very significant and important to them. And now they feel like um, now they feel like they have that energy. They have that space in their life. Uh, for you to give you what you need to give you what you deserve in a connection but I do feel like this person could be like this person could be looking for something serious if you're you know wondering about that um 
like this person could even feel like you guys have a solid foundation or you have um the tools to build that solid foundation but i'm mostly hearing that this person feels like you would make a great uh team together This person is feeling confident as well. So if this is a new person, this person is feeling confident about approaching you. Um, for others of you, this could be... I can't remember what I was saying, guys. Oh my god, my brain is just not even... My brain just does not work properly sometimes. <laughs> but... Oh my god, I can't, I, please, I, can't, I can't remember at all. So I'm just going to move on because I can't remember, guys. <laughs> Uh, for others of you, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like some of you may not know this person, but there's going to be like a comfortability between you guys. There's going to be this, like, I feel like familiarity, you know, so for others of you, this person may feel like very comfortable with you, even if they don't really know you that well. And it's because they feel very familiar, like it's either you're a part of this person's past or past life in some way, you know. Because, like, it's weird because I'm getting an energy where, like, this person definitely may know you, but I don't feel like it's completely in this reality or this physical sense, if you know what I mean. So it could be, like, a past life sort of thing, you know? Um, like, two people from a past life kind of just finding their way together in this life. But anyways, ooh. So how does this person feel? This person feels like they need to stop sleeping on this connection. This person feels like they need to wake up um, before they miss out, you know? This person, yeah, feels like they need to get a move on before they miss out on something awesome. Um, like, this person may be overthinking things a bit. Um, Maybe this person is giving too much concern or too much thought to an external source, if you know what I mean. Um, maybe they care too much about what other people think. Um, but this person could be working on, you know, giving zero fucks about moving forward with you, moving forward in this connection. See, we even have here, don't look at anyone and don't talk to anyone. So I feel like this person is really trying to, um, oh, I don't know why I'm hearing like they're trying to protect this connection from, you know, outside um, influences. Like it could be family, it could be friends, it could be an ex-partner, it could be someone that they are trying to leave behind themselves. Um, but yeah, this person feels like they need to stop fucking caring about something um, and just kind of move forward with what they want to move forward with and to stop concerning themselves so much with what other people um, what other people think, you know? So it's like, don't look at anyone, don't talk to anyone, don't concern yourself with what anyone else is saying. And I feel like they're trying to really get into that vibe, you know? Um, this person may feel like they need some time alone time alone with you <laughs> i'm so sorry guys i don't know why i'm being so silly today um but yeah so for some of you this person obviously could want time alone with you but for others of you um this person really feels like they need to keep this on a d like on the dl or like they're just not going to talk about this to anyone because maybe they feel like other people won't understand um how they feel about you or the connection especially if uh, this is a re reconciliation type thing, you know? Um, so, that's funny that we have here wedding because we have the four of wands, which does symbolise weddings and, um, you know, very important uh, milestones, right? Uh, so, yeah, this person kind of feels like um, you're someone that they could have that long-term stability with. They, they, they feel like you guys are very compatible 
in a sense that you guys will make a f good ha like home life whether that be with kids or without kids um traveling like mutual goals as well like you guys could be after the same things in life and but yeah this person just feels like your marriage material okay let's just leave it at that <laughs> uh and that's funny we have past life um relationship here so yeah this person could feel very uh connected to you and like kind of feel like they've known you before yeah so yeah this person really wants to spread their wings and fly it's like they don't want to be restricted anymore um so that could be what that eight of cups in reverse is about like maybe this person has um come out of a very restrictive um period in their life and now it's just like ugh, i'm done with that you know but at the same time they feel like they need to kind of keep it to themselves it's like they don't want to jinx it or they don't want to ruin it in some way by saying too much especially saying too much to the wrong people you know um but yeah this person wants freedom i feel like with you they feel free to be themselves Ooh, nice <laughs> um but it's like I i'm hearing also like take a leap of faith so this person could be like planning on taking a leap of faith i think i said that at the beginning with the ace of wands like this person's like ah, oh, i have an idea you know um and it could you know be calling for them to you know lean on faith a little bit for others of you this person could want to travel with you but i feel like they want that whole shebang with you you know like family life traveling good food you know experiencing different cultures and all that good stuff you know but yeah i'm kind of getting like a very not an anxious energy but kind of an energy where like i've waited for this for quite some time like now i'm ready to go you know um so yeah so we also have here money <laughs> i don't know why i'm talking like that today oh god yeah so for some of you this person could feel like they've discovered what it is they truly want maybe before they were confused and now it's like that confusion's gone i'm certain about what i want and i know what will make me happy and um this person feels like they discovered something you know like even though we don't have the ace of swords here i feel like um they because we don't have the ace of swords on this you know on this um spread because they're literally holding the ace of swords it's like this person's like you know aha like this person's had an aha moment a little bit where they've um, had time to discover what it is that they truly want and they could be you know coming to terms with what they truly want is you and this connection you know um but now let's see what messages we have okay so the first card we have is my family doesn't approve um that could be i mean a reason why they want to um keep it on a dl or maybe a reason why um they kind of feel like oh maybe maybe they've <sighs> okay this is complicated i just don't want to like go into some like whole rant okay so for some of you okay <laughs> um maybe this person cared a lot about what they what their family thought before but it didn't make them happy yeah they may have created a certain amount of success for themselves but it didn't make them happy and it's kind of like they're realizing now what is their true desire what is their true purpose or you know even who they want to connect to like you you know um but i feel like before they cared too much about what other people thought and now they don't care um but it's still it still is an issue you know um so we have here tell me what it's going to take to make you mine I, I thought you had all the answers what are you talking about <laughs> so yeah this person could be kind of racking their brain with different ideas on um, what they can do to make you theirs you know so this person could feel like you're very pure but at the same time you're very intense very raw uh like I'm even hearing like rough around the edges. So you could be someone who's extremely, you know, beautiful, very good heart. Um, but at the same time, uh, you could be a bit intense and a bit rough at the same time. Like obviously in a very beautiful way, you know. 
uh, this person could feel like you're a gift. I definitely feel like they want to gift you something though. This connection will forever forever affect this person. So you, um, this person definitely feels like you've made a big impact on them because they've never met someone like you before. Um, this person isn't sure. So this person could be still having um, some, you know, uncertainty about this connection. And I, and I feel like it is because this person still could be um, sleeping on this connection. But I feel like they are waking up to it though, you know? So if, if that makes sense for your situation. Um, but yeah, I do feel like they're being awakened to this connection. Of course, the Ace of Wands is such a fresh energy. Um, you know, this awakening or this realization could be very new to them, you know? Um, this person feels very affectionate towards you. Like this person has a lot of nurturing feelings towards you, very... Uh, loving feelings towards you guys as well and finally we have shadow work so maybe this person feels like maybe that could be a reason why this person has been sleeping a lot maybe they have you know because whenever I think of shadow work I think of like four of cups energy which could be like when you're feeling super lethargic maybe even when you're depressed you know when you're depressed sometimes that shit makes you want to sleep just makes you feel fucking exhausted for no fucking reason you know <laughs> um so yeah I feel like this person is coming out of a certain energy though um and yeah I hope this made sense for you group um three because that is all i have for you i'm wishing you guys all the best on your journeys and take care of yourself okay guys bye